founding fathers of the United States, protection against the abuse of executive power was so important they wrote it into the Constitution before they even defined the contours of the presidency. Their solution, impeachment, which is an official statement of charges triggering a trial against any civil officer, including the president. Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution lays out the grounds for impeachment, treason and bribery, as well as any other high crimes and misdemeanors. The offense does not necessarily have to be a crime. Any grave act or pattern of unethical behavior could suffice. The process starts with an investigation, historically led by the House Judiciary Committee. The lawmakers first debate and lay out the grounds for impeachment, followed by a vote on the charges, and if the articles of impeachment are approved by a simple majority in the House, they then move on to the Senate for trial. If at least two-thirds of the senators find the president guilty, he or she is removed from office without the possibility of an appeal. In this case, the vice president would take over as president. Currently, Democrats hold a 235 to 198 majority over Republicans in the House, but their advantage ends there. In the Senate, Republicans hold a 53 to 45 majority with two independents. To obtain the supermajority required to successfully remove the president, 20 Republican senators would have to turn on Donald Trump. And if history is any indicator for how impeachment proceedings against President Trump may turn out, they are unlikely to bring about his removal. The House of Representatives has only passed the articles of impeachment twice in U.S. history, once against Andrew Johnson in 1868 and a second time against Bill Clinton in 1998. In both cases, the presidents were acquitted by the Senate.